there are hundreds of thousands, they estimate between 500,000 and 750,000 nephrons in a kidney. And there's only one renal artery carrying blood to those nephrons, and so it has to branch a lot. I'll not go into all that branching, but each one of those nephrons needs a small quantity of that blood that's going into the kidney so they can clean it up. Okay, So that one renal artery is supplying blood to all of them, so it has to branch. And the branches get smaller and more numerous, such that one finally goes to hundreds of thousands of branches. And the last arteries in there is the ones that you can see here are called the interlobular arteries and they come off of an artery called the arcuate artery and there are hundreds of thousands of interlobular veins I'll show them up closer to you in a minute that drain into the arcuate artery and so Going back, there's only one renal vein carrying blood out to the inferior vena cava, and so we have to have a convergence going back, a divergence going out in the arterial system, and a convergence coming back. So that's a little bit about the circulation. Clean blood goes in here, I mean dirty blood goes in here, how, how can I get turned around like that? I just emphasize to you that the renal artery is carrying what? Dirty blood into the kidney, the nephrons clean it up, and the renal vein carries the clean blood out to the inferior vena cava. Where does all the waste go? It goes out this collecting system through the minor calyces to the major calyces to the renal pelvis, and then down the ureter to the uh, bladder where it's stored until it's voided. So that's a little bit about the circulation inside of the kidney.